So this is the MSG sphere. It's being built right behind the Venetian and Palazzo. It's called the MSG sphere at the Venetian. So they first started this project in September 2018. And of course, and they wanted to open it in 2021. Of course, during COVID, it got slowed down. So now they're hoping it's going to open in 2023. I don't know what month, but it's really coming along. So um, they are going to have this primarily for concerts and award shows. But it also could be super useful for sporting events like UFC or boxing. But this thing, it, it's massive. So it's going to be, um, the, the screens inside so are going to be the largest and highest LED screens in the world. Um, the one uh, screen is going to be, this wraparound screen is going to be 160,000 square feet. And um, they're going to have like 164,000 speakers in this place. And uh, they're just going to have like the, the best resolution screens. Like it's going to be the highest technology. So um, and then they have all these lights out here. So they have um, a 580,000 square feet of programmable lights that they've been installing on the outside of this thing. So it's just going to be insane because it's going to look like a globe. And it's, I'm really excited to see when this is done. It's just right down, if you go down Desert Inn, or this, uh, not Desert Inn, uh, Sands here. Um, Sands right in between Koval and Paradise is where this little baby sits here. And it's just beautiful. I mean, look at this. The, 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 you can see just the insane amount of technology going into these things that I think this is some of, I don't even know what this is, lighting, I don't, I don't even know. These things are so massive, it's hard to, hard to identify what some of these pieces are, but I think this is part of the lighting that goes on the outside there. Um, and uh, this was originally a project with Sheldon Adelson and um, the MSG in New York City. And they uh, really wanted, you know, a, a nice venue for um, concerts and stuff. But then this is before people stop going to concerts so much. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it goes well because it's such a beautiful place. And it's going to hold 17,500 um, seats for the venues. But then they say the capacity, you know, could hold about 20,000 in this facility. And it's just going to be cool. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing when it's going to be completed in 2023. Because it's really coming along on the outside. I don't have any idea how much they've completed on the inside. Um, but it, it's cool. And those guys are working 24-7 out there. I mean, I don't, I don't know if they work through the night, but they are up very early. They are there, like, around... 3 4 a.m. and then they I don't know what time to go to bed because they have been flying on this project because uh, luckily during COVID construction still continued in Las Vegas so they were able to still move forward but a lot of the projects got halted because there was just not the business to start these projects and there still isn't the full business so but Vegas coming back around and it's it's going to be real hot, I believe, in 2023, and even better in 2024 and 2025, which I think is the year that we have the Super Bowl. So hopefully this sphere, and we'll have the Raiders Stadium flying 2025. It'll be awesome for the Super Bowl in Las Vegas. Stay tuned. So just this week, they are installing a lot of these lights here on the outside. And this guy here is an engineer. He's having to tell the guys exactly where it exactly needs to be because this is, um, you know, very scientific here. 
uh, and the lighting has to be exactly perfect and they have you know about 580,000 square feet of programmable lighting and it has to be exactly in the right spot so he has to you know be down here and find where it needs to be and let those guys up there know exactly where they need to install it so that everything lines up otherwise the screens won't work and the lighting won't work and all these things won't work if everything isn't absolutely precise so this is beyond construction this is like massive engineering and um, uh, science and, and you know math and uh, everything coming together um, designed to make this um, stadium here or uh, what do we call, want to call it um, a theater or auditorium um, venue uh, to be this amazing globe that no one has ever seen in the world so it's going to be interesting to see it completed because uh, it's never been done. So only in Vegas. Vegas loves doing the things that are the first and the biggest and the loudest and the brightest and the most expensive too. So this project is a uh, 1.865 billion. So one point about almost 1.9 billion dollar project here. Almost a two billion dollar project. So this is not a cheap project and it is going to be 366 feet high and 516 feet wide at its broadest point and um uh yeah it'll it'll whole it a whole max capacity would be about 20,000 people but for the seating it's actually 17,500 people um but there's going to be actually 27 or 23 VIP suites which would be super cool to see. Uh, I probably could never afford that, but if anybody you know has that, those kind of dollars, that'll be nice to get one of those VIP suites. And check that out with the, in this new amazing MSG sphere at Venetian here in Las Vegas, because the MSG in New York is getting very very old. So this is going to be a very very cool update to the very old MSG in Manhattan uh, near Penn Station so here we go Las Vegas and New York uniting more and more and more and we personally love that because we have lived in both places and they're very similar yet very different in the same token so it's kind of cool to bring some of the similarities together but then enjoy the differences especially like warm weather versus cold weather all right, I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and please give a thumbs up and comment. Let us know what would be different or what you'd like to see us film in Las Vegas. Show the little shorties how you pump and dance. Not today. I'm, I'm not impressed. I'm, I'm not amused. I'm, I'm, I'm not confused. I'm not to do. I'm a grown man business. I am not in school. Put your hand down, youngin'. This is not for you. I'm a jail, my deep with the Kanye yo. Your name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh. Like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a Rolex or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down and lay low. The sun, the shadows, the shadows, the shadows. Open Jedi, black Jedi. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out. Slim Jedi. Cast a big shadow. Cherokee red to shoot the long arrow. Got more skill, more aim, and more ammo. You can get it all from a big or small barrel like Hail Mary. Come and shoot up the place and make you pull up your face to death. I pull out the ace from the jungles of the Empire State where there ain't no escape. Two, four, seven. Seven, seven, one, eight, and that's like every night, every day. From the place that I settle and say to the states, I'm collecting my pay. Blast off and I'm back to the cave. Hold it down for my family straight. Represent in a family way. Football, not for amateur play. Ben Ross is an amateur state before the press and the camera was raised. Like a long time man of the way, we want to stand on the straight. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Excellence. And that's what it is, you see.